Okay, so here we go. Um, we'll talk about some negative and positive pressure systems. And I'm going to draw them out as we go here. See if I can uh, get on a pad here. We'll do, uh, let's do a positive pressure system first. I'll draw an upflow. We'll call it uh, an upflow gas furnace. We'll call this an upflow gas furnace in a closet. And the blower wheel is down here. Heat exchanger junk is here. And you have a box coil sitting on top of the unit here. And the supply going up to the attic. Base down here, return air is all down here. So we've got return air coming in. The blower, since this is return and this is supply side, we have air flowing this way. The blower is physically pushing air to the evaporator coil. We'll call it an A coil up here. Is that? So this is what they call a positive pressure system near the blower wheel, which forces air through the system. So you have your drain line here, which comes over, and we'll just say it goes over like so, down to wherever your, your sewer drain is. And uh, so the blower is forcing air positively through the coil, and it's forcing air positively down the drain. So the water is naturally forced down the drain. You can do the same thing on a horizontal. Do a horizontal here. And uh, da, 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 da. you have, let's say, a coil down here, slab coil. So you have transition. You have a slab coil down here. And you have uh, the drain here. And you have the blower motor down here, electric heat strips, whatever. Here, return here. So you have the blower forcing air through the coil. You just always think of it in reference to the coil. You have positive pressure going through the coil. Same thing here, positive pressure through the coil here, which also puts positive pressure on the drain, forcing water down the drain. Um, so that's pretty easy. Either direction. And the coil could be on the other side. And this, this could be flipped over. But just always look at it as which way the air is blowing through the coil. Which way it's going through the coil. So we'll do a negative down here. Let's do a, uh, this will be an upflow in a closet again. Except this time we'll make it uh, an electric air handler. And this is uh, being upflow, so we have return air down here. And still air coming in here, going this way, return air. We have the, we'll say a slant coil here. Could be an A coil, could be whatever. Slant coil, we'll say an older one with a slant coil on it. And the blower motor up here, and the supply up here. And the, so the air flows this way. The blower motor, in this case, is pulling, pulling air through the coil, which is considered negative pressure. So it works that way. Now, if you have a drain line down here, and the drain line is piped straight out with no uh, trap on it, what happens is that uh, when the blower is running, let's say it's running a long time, it's pulling air through here, but it's also pulling air up through the drain. So if it's pulling, and that's a lot of pressure, a lot of air pressure. So it just sucks a lot of air through the drain, and so this water will just bubble, bubble, bubble up in here. You can hear it gurgling, and if you're lucky and it shuts off in time, it'll drain out. If you're unlucky and it's running a long time, the water will overflow the pan level, and you have water all down in here and hope it's not carpet and wood paneling floors or whatnot. Um, with a trap, you have, so you put a trap in line there, you have a certain amount of water that lays in the trap area all the time, which is enough static water pressure. I'm not an engineer. I'm not sure how to describe that. There's enough pressure from the water that's laying in there that it's not able to suck air through, but the water naturally flows down the trap. And it'll be the same thing on a horizontal. So you've got, uh, in an attic, you have a, uh, a uh, return duct here, and you've got the, uh, we'll say it's a, a W coil of some kind like that, and your drain's down here, and your blower's here, and your supply is down here. So you've got your air flowing uh, through it that way, going through that way, negatively being pulled through the coil, and uh, same thing, if you have a trap, in the system, if you don't have a trap in the system, what it does is it pulls, physically pulls air through the drain line. So you have to have a trap here. Now, 
A thing to note um, also, and I see this all the time, is uh, you'll see even if they put a trap on the primary, sometimes you go out there and the secondary is not even plumbed out. They'll just have the dang thing plugged. Or if they do have it out, it'll be you'll have the drain pan underneath it, emergency drain pan, and they just have a straight uh, drop down in the drain pan, just a little little uh, 90 degree elbow sitting on it. Which is, when, as soon as this plugs up here, this is sucking air. This is constantly sucking air and negative pressure, which means if it runs a long time, the water level builds up. But instead of going out the emergency with this being plugged up, the water floods the whole cabinet, and it will flood the electrical section of the cabinet, the heating section of the cabinet. It will get in the return plenum and soak the insulation. If you're unfortunate enough to have a duct coming off the bottom, it will run down to the duct. Uh, and usually the pan only goes so far underneath the unit anyway, so we have water coming out there. It will go off into the supply plenum, cause all kinds of fun messes. So uh, if it's a negative pressure, trap out the positive, tra trap them both out. Um, on the upflows, sometimes you're in a position you can't put a, a, uh, a secondary out, but you can usually put some sort of wet switch underneath the unit, or uh, they have a couple that you can put on the secondary now, the little float switches. Uh, I think I've showed a few of those in my other videos. So anyway, that's, uh, hopefully I described it well enough. If you have any questions about uh, the positive and negative pressure stuff, please, uh, please feel free to email me, text me, and as soon as I'm not working my hiney off again, I'll try and answer them. Thanks.